don't think there's a single person that I know of in my family or outside my family that has not been touched by cancer. My interest in medicine really started off pretty early. I realized that a lot of the very, very basic and fundamental rules of life sciences had everything to do with human disease. I decided to go into a combined MD-PhD program fusing science with medicine, and I started becoming very, very interested in how cancer really was a result of uh, mutations in genes. I actively see patients to keep active in new clinical trials, and I use it as a platform, sort of like a GPS of the medical clinic, to really try to hone in on what the questions are. My laboratory right now focuses on uh, cancer genetics, and cancer is fundamentally a genetic disease. One of the issues that my lab tries to figure out is how and why some tumors will behave in a very uh, aggressive uh, manner, spreading to different parts of the body, and other tumors uh, won't. So we use high content genetic analyses to really dissect these kinds of questions. Aggressiveness of the tumors are driven by very, very uh, well-defined um, alterations in the, the blueprint, in the map of the cell, and uh, we are working towards trying to figure out which of those drivers causes which types of bad behaviors by cancer cells. My laboratory focuses on why certain cancers respond to immunotherapies. And immunotherapies are able to provide unprecedented control and sometimes years and years of control for patients that previously would have died very quickly. It's only the rules of immunity being defined clear enough that allowed us to know which of those switches to flip to turn on the immune system and if in essential, essentially taking away those breaks of the immune system to allow the immune system to then kill the cancer cells. Our work focuses on melanomas and lung cancers and advanced uh, stages of these cancers really are lethal and uncurable. Uh, now with immunotherapy, we've discovered that a certain portion of these patients can actually approach a cure. The initial results are that it's very positive. And I have no doubt that this perishing grant is allowing us to really expand our efforts and dive more deeply into answering these questions.